Sensor and Transmitter Installation The ADIX sensor is prefixed inside the sensor applicator, which assists in attaching the sensor to our body. Both of these components are stored within a sealed and sterilized package. To start, it's important to understand that ADIX can be applied in two areas, either on the back of the upper arm or on the abdomen on either side of the navel, with the placement 3 to 5 centimeters away from it. Make sure that the chosen spot is always away from any belts or car safety belts. Additionally, the selecting area should be free of wounds, moles, tumors, hair, and should have a slight fatty layer. It is advisable to alternate between these areas. For instance, if the sensor was last placed on the upper arm, the next placement should be on the abdomen, and you can switch between the right and left sides of the navel for each rotation. This variation helps to ensure skin recovery. The abdomen is recommended because it experiences less excessive movement, which can help ensure the stability and accuracy of the sensor. Note. Ensure the sensor is not expired by checking its expiration date. If the sensor is expired or the sterilized package is damaged, please do not use it. Applying a sensor may cause bruising or bleeding. If bleeding does not stop, remove the sensor and apply a new sensor to a different location. To begin, thoroughly wash your hands with soap and water. Clean the application area with alcohol and allow it to dry for a minute without using a towel or tissue. Remove the sterilization cap, starting from the black arrow. Rotate the applicator counterclockwise to take it out. As you can see, the sensor is pre-inserted inside the applicator. Ensure that the applicator is horizontally positioned, so the applicator blue button is at either the 3 o'clock or 9 o'clock position. This positioning ensures that the sensor is parallel to the belt without any angle, primarily for aesthetic reasons, and it won't impact the accuracy of the readings. Position the applicator horizontally. Gently stretch the skin and press the applicator towards the body until the blue button moves upward. This action occurs only when we push the applicator toward our body. Press the blue button. You will hear the sound of the sensor being released. Wait for about 10 seconds until the sensor is firmly attached to the skin. Carefully remove the applicator. Secure the sensor by pressing on the adhesive both sides. Dispose of the applicator following the medical safety guidelines. Note: The applicator contains a needle. Please dispose of it properly to avoid any possibility of injury to others. Next step. Installing the ADIX transmitter. Make sure the transmitter is oriented correctly. Then press it here, followed by another press here. You should hear two clicks, confirming that the transmitter is correctly installed. Now only, you can proceed to pair the transmitter. The sensor contains a battery that provides power to the transmitter, allowing it to function. Because of this, the ADIX transmitter can be used for up to four years without needing to be charged or replaced. This is why the pairing step with the application can commence unless the transmitter is attached to the sensor. If it's your first time pairing, you will find the pairing button in the application's home screen. Alternatively, tap the personal settings. Transmitter. Here you can enter the serial number for the transmitter in two ways. First, you can press the scan icon. The app will request permission to use the camera. Confirm. And point the camera at the QR code on the packaging of the transmitter. Note that you should focus on the QR code, not the barcode. If you're not sure how to use this method, Tap on the symbol at the top of the screen to return to the previous page. Then, enter the serial number for the transmitter manually. 
you will find the serial number printed on the transmitter itself, just like this. It also could be found on the transmitter's packaging. Please note that the letter O is not used in the code to avoid confusion. It's always the number zero. Enter the transmitter's serial number and press continue. The app will attempt to establish a connection with the transmitter. After a successful connection, the app will return to the home screen. You will receive a message indicating the detection of a new sensor. Choose New Sensor to proceed, and the countdown timer will start. Please note that the app may take some time for warm-up and initialization after about an hour. You should receive your first reading. If, after an hour, you see sensor stabilization, there is no need for further action, and it will work later as long as the sensor is attached correctly. However, if you encounter a sensor error, this indicates a problem with the installation. Please replace the fault sensor and install a new one correctly. Note, if you accidentally selected used sensor in the previous step, it means you skipped the required warm-up time for the sensor to function accurately. In this case, the readings may not be accurate initially. Inside the sensor package, you will find an additional adhesive pad. This sticker is used to provide extra security to ensure that the sensor stays in place. After finish the user life for the sensor, the sensor will reach its expiration and you will need to replace it. To do so, lift the sensor gently from one side, then remove it completely. Clean the area where the sensor was attached. To detach the transmitter from the sensor, press the sensor from the size as shown in the video. Now, lift the transmitter up. Ensure that you will keep the same transmitter for use with a new sensor. Finally, dispose of the sensor following local safety guideline. This video serves to provide insights into the functionality of the ADEX Continuous Glucose Monitoring System. It is essential not to disregard any signs or symptoms associated with high or low glucose levels. In the event that your glucose alerts and sensor glucose readings do not align with your expected symptoms, it is strongly recommended to verify your glucose levels using a standard blood glucose meter. Consult with your healthcare provider for guidance on diabetes management and treatment. Diabetes Cloud. Live with freedom.